Hello, people of the World Wide Web. Got a new product here from Launch, the inevitable BMW code reader. No, actually, it does a lot more than that. Um, it looks like a code reader. I'll say that. Um, but surprisingly, it has a ton of reset features. Um, supposedly, we'll do online coding, um, graphing data, pre-scan reports, things of that nature. So without further ado, let's go out to a Bavarian and see what we can do. Okay, quick rundown. Once you get it hooked up, it's gonna ask you for all your shop info, um, any personal info you want on it, time zone, stuff of that nature. Follow your prompts, it's pretty straightforward. There was a little circle there for update. Um, I don't have any updates, so it shows none available. Um, do all your updates first before you use it. You're, you're, you're much better off. So we're gonna do a quick scan. I have uh, literally never used this, so this is my first go around. So we'll see how quickly it uh, auto scans. We're hooked up to a 2018 X1 with the infamous N20. And when I mean infamous, I mean it's a ticking time bomb. correctly, I need the vehicle correctly. Wow, it's doing it pretty quickly. Wow, that, that was fast. I'm impressed. Found a couple faults. See him right from here. Let's share. All right, I'm going to email that to myself and we'll take a look at that on the PC later. That was a quick little auto scan. Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do this video a little bit backwards, um, kind of show you um, how you would first hook up to it, what you're going to see. This is your home screen right here. When I first uh, turned mine on, this little guy right here had a little uh, circle or something saying, hey, you need to upgrade it. You'd click on it, and then all these were, were lit up. I believe there was an update all function. Um, took me I, 30 to 40 minutes. Um, just, you can power this off either the DLC or a USB-C into the port. So I would recommend plugging it into a wall, getting it on Wi-Fi next to a good Wi-Fi source, um, and, and it'll take quite a bit. It's pretty, pretty complete, um, straightforward. One thing I love about launch products is their scan reports. Like I said in the video earlier, it will email you um, this report to this link right here. That pops up. And this right here is shareable. I can copy and paste that. I can send that to whoever. And this is what they will see. It gives it a real nice, complete report um, to share. So. As far as this tool, would I recommend it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I wanna say I paid around $200 for this. Um, is it gonna replace a BMW ISTA? Absolutely not. It's it's an aftermarket tool um, for being what it is. Like this is perfect for a shop that is, you know, they don't really wanna get into BMW or Europeans, but they always seem to find their way in the door. You know, everyone's got that that uh, relative or the neighbor, oh, can you throw brakes on it? Can you do a tranny flush? Well, now you got to reset, you know, a brake wear indicator or reset transmission additives. 
adaptives and you're stuck on what do we do now um or even just a battery um one main thing i did with this that i could not do i have two fully functional scan tools uh and neither of them would register the battery on this 18x1 um which i will i will end the video with that because it's a little lengthy um one tool i have i didn't want to spend 1200 dollars on an update um simply because it's getting older um, and I think that's ridiculous. So this is $200. Um, and man, it, it does, it says that it does Valvetronic relearn. I have not gone down that road with it, but it says that it's there. Everything I've done as far as on the tool is there. Bidirectional controls, um, I registered the battery, reset throttle adaptives, um, everything has worked. So I would highly recommend it. Um, for someone that's, if you're working on BMWs every day, all day, eh, you can do better. Um, for that matter, BMW ISTA really isn't all that expensive for a full bloat um, BMW shop. So that's my uh, that's my two cents. Okay, this took me a minute to find, but once you're in this menu, it's in body. Register battery exchange. All right, so F2 for register battery exchange. No. did not put in a Bavarian money waster battery. We went with a part store battery. We did the Duralast. Continue. It's giving me warnings saying, hey, don't do this with a weak battery. It shows you your voltage up top. I'm still hanging at 15 from when we were running. Following date and time. So it shows that we stamped it successfully in the vehicle. Service function finished. Continue. And that's that. Let's end our session. Let's see if it'll activate our fan under there. We're going to enter, uh, yeah, we'll go seventy percent. I hear it kick on. So it's running that fan. That worked. Pretty cool. All right, let's try a bidirectional. Um, flaps.
One other caveat, the buyer beware, unofficial, official, whatever you want to call it, the online coding for this obviously can't be through BMW because this is an aftermarket tool. So that being said, um, I've heard through unconfirmed sources that it works like 98% of the time. Obviously, it depends vehicle to vehicle. What they're doing is basically they're saving your pre and post scans in the database and they store that. And so they best guesstimate your vehicle, what you're working on, and use that to code your new module. Um, it works at least 98% of the time, in my opinion. I've done that for years with uh, Volkswagen products. You go on Ross Tech, um, you just start looking through auto scans and trying coding until you see something that hopefully everything on that car works. Um, that's kind of a uh, backdoor gray market, whatever you want to call it, way of doing online coding. Um, but uh, you usually have good results. So my two cents on that.